All right, so we're gonna access the tree. This is my cambium saver. It's also called a friction saver. And what this does is, if I were to take a regular rope and put it over a branch and then climb on it, the friction of the rope would cut into the top portion of the branch and destroy it, right? So what we wanna do is keep that friction. So I'm gonna shoot a line up, feed this friction device over the limb, and then my ropes will be fed through these two rings not only is it easier to climb when the rope's traveling through the two rings, it also makes it to where it's not causing any friction against the tree and it won't cause any damage. So if you're not using these, it's something really important to use. Yes, it takes a lot more time to set up, but once you've got it set up, it makes a huge difference for the tree's health. So we're gonna always feed through the large end first. This is the bag for my rope. I've just got it on a spool, our spool broke. I'm gonna wind it all out. I'm gonna give you myself enough room for a shot, and I know that my wingspan, or my arms lengths apart, is about six feet. So I, I can kind of estimate as I go, just counting off how much I have. Now once I have enough for my shot, which is right about there, I'm gonna shut back toward my cambium saver in a pile. If I do this, when the rope comes out, it won't get tangled. So I'm just gonna shuck it back real quick. Now, I'm gonna use the big shot on an uh, Oregon Arbor Culture pole. I like these Oregon Arbor Culture poles. They're really easy to extend and they hold a lot of weight. So there's two different ways to do this. I can shoot from the underside pointed this way and that's easier to get over a limb from one side. If I shoot from this direction, it's better for a straight shot. So I'm gonna shoot this way on the slope to get over the branch that I'm looking for. So I've got my, my shot line over the top of the branch I'm going for. Now I need to single out that branch and make sure I have a clear travel for my rope up to that branch. I've singled out the branch and I have my lines, nothing in between them all the way to my branch. Now I'm gonna go back to my cambium saver and remember earlier, when you first start, you're gonna feed through the larger end. And the same way it goes in the larger end is the same direction as long as this is flat that I'm gonna go in the smaller end. So I like to use a hitch with a quick loop on it to make it to where it comes off easily. So I'm gonna go through my ring once, pretty simple. Go through my ring twice. And after I do that, I can come around. Remember, this is your working end of your rope. This is your standing end. I'm gonna come around, leave my loop ex exposed. I'm gonna come around my standing end, make a bite in the rope, which is basically just pinch it like this, back through those two little loops I made, and pull it back on itself. And it's a really simple hitch that can hold a lot of weight. Okay, there we go. Now I gotta send this back up to protect my limb. Okay, we got lock on. And I'll show you how to tie this knot real quick. So get yourself about 16 inches. Start at the top of your rope. I just put my thumb on the back. Throw it over the top on your first do the same thing one more time. So I'm going to go around the rope, but then over the top of the portion I just put on. And I'm going to do it one more time, but this time I'm going to finish it off like a half hitch. Now I've seen a lot of guys do this different ways, but this way is what I find to be one of the simplest. So sometimes the simple is the best way. All right, so I've got three on there. And the last one's tied off like a half hitch. I won't lose my rope. I'll keep some tension on it as I'm pulling up. So I'll start pulling it up and keeping some tension on it at the same time. Okay. Now many people have asked, how do you get your rope in the tree? If you're doing it right, it'll look something like that.